Hello and welcome to Algebra. Today we're going to finish our lesson on 7.4. We're going to look at some scientific notation and its effect with uh, division properties. Alright, remember the arrows when we're going to move that decimal to the left or to the right, or we're going to try to move that uh, exponent up or down. We need to remember left, up, right, down, however you want to remember that. I like to remember these little magnets, and so they either attract or repel. So you need to remember that in what you're doing because we'll have several scientific notation problems with the quiz and, and the test. Okay, so simplify each quotient, write your answer in scientific notation. What we're going to do in this, we do two parts. First we're going to divide this and then we're going to subtract these exponents. That's that. Remember when we're multiplying like bases, add the exponent, rack them up. When we're going to uh, have division and like bases, we're going to subtract those or we just let it rip. I remember the turkey uh, on that one. Anyway, so four and two tenths. Now, the top dog goes in the house. Think of this little dog house. So four and two tenths divided by two and one tenth. Uh, we can't, well, we can in this case, but usually you cannot divide through with the decimal as the, uh, the dividend there. So we're going to move this once to the right. So we move that decimal once to the right. You're allowed to do that because it's really a fractional form. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to move this to the right once. So this is really 21 into 42, or 42 divided by 21. Don't forget that the decimal is to the right, and go ahead and put it up as well, and the, uh, the remainder. Um, 21 goes into 42 two times. 2 times 21 is 42. And that gives me zero, so I stop, so this is two. So four and two tenths divided by two and one tenth is two. Then we put our x, you just put the traditional, the old style multiplication with uh, scientific notation, it's just the protocol, that's what's the norm. And 10 to the eight minus 11, because you can subtract these. Now remember when we did the letter rip earlier, the turkey fry, we would say there's three more tens on the bottom. Well, with this scientific notation, you really don't want a fraction in that sense. You really just want to move everything to the numerator. So 8 minus 11, well, that's 2 times 10 to the negative third. And when we have scientific notation, you have two terms. The first term, you want to make sure you have a number uh, that's between 1 and 10. So you want a one-digit number. This is definitely a one-digit number. There's one non-zero digit to the left of um, the, the decimal point, and this is some kind of a power of 10, and that's it. We're done. Let's try one more. In this one, we have 4 and 5 tenths divided by 9. We also have 10 to the 3rd divided by 10 to the 7th. So we're going to split this again into two parts, 4 and 5 tenths divided by 9. Remember, top dog in the house. We can have the divisor to be a whole number, uh, an integer. So we're going to go ahead. 9 into 4 goes 0 times. Don't forget to put the decimal above as well. 9 goes into 4 0 times. 9 times 0 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Bring down the 5. 9 goes into 45 5 times. 9 times 5 is 45, and we're left with 0. So that means stop. So we have 5 tenths times 10 to the 3 minus 7. So there's a little bit left to do here. We have 5 tenths times 10 to the negative fourth. And this is not in scientific notation. It looks like it, but this is 5 tenths. There's not one non-zero number to the left of the decimal. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this decimal, remember the little magnet, we're going to move this decimal to the right so it's going to attract to that magnet. So this is going to go down. Now you got to think of this as a building. Now there's also, you have the building, you also have the uh, sort of the basement levels in the building. This is like having the fourth level basement. 
and you're going down in the elevator. So you're in the basement four, you're going to go down to basement five. So you go right one time, you go down one time. So this is five times ten to the negative fifth. And the reason this is scientific notation and the other one was not was because in this case we have one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal right here. And that means that you have a number between 1 and 10. It's a one-digit number, basically. Uh, and so we have 5 times 10 to the negative fifth. Of course, we don't really need that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.